G'day guys, Justin here from Gladstone Fine Sport Fishing, Garmin Marine Ambassador Australia. Uh, today's episode of Garmin Tech Tips, we're going to talk a little bit about live imaging and fish behaviour and how you can utilise your tools to get the best out of them to help you fast track and understand fish behaviour and traits. So a big one that I find is a very common factor down here, particularly in New South Wales and Victoria, uh, around the cod scene is that basically 99% of the guys down here are using forward view or down view only in their live scope, um, which is pretty strange to me. Like, so it's a, it's, it's a very different world down here. Like when we come from up north in the Barra scene in particular, even the Brim guys and stuff like that, um, perspective view is a major, major player in and or a tool in everyday use. Particularly for me as a fishing guide on Barramundi, on Lake Awunga, or whether it's out in the blue water as well, we use perspective view basically 80 to 90% of the time. So it's, it was a different world for me coming down here and I guess seeing that forward view and a lot of guys um, particularly guys with the LVS32 didn't even have perspective mounts on their boats um, when I'm doing tunes or they've never switched it over to perspective view which is um, you know it was crazy like in in the terms of like understanding your unit and getting the best out of your units now I'm not saying that the guys that um, are using Ford view only um, aren't catching fish because these guys down here like they are smacking cod left right and center and they really understand how to get the most out of that particular version um, or forward view you know but what I think a lot of the guys are missing down here is the opportunity to get an understanding more of fish tradesmen behaviors what I've noticed um, in the small amount of particularly the impoundment work around uh, Murray Cod that I've done since I've been down in this part of the world is that um, utilising perspective view um, has changed the opinions and, the, and I'll change the whole game for some of these guys that I've done tune-ups for. So for instance, you know, like they're not losing cod. Like a lot of the guys complain about, you know, using forward view and only getting the 20 degree beam and then, you know, that a cod will disappear out of frame and they lose two out of three cod. Like because they just disappear, they'll go deep or go left or right or whatever and, and they'll just pan out of their vision. Um, what perspective view allows you to do it. And I'm talking about in the right scenario, guys. So, like, if you're fishing, um, you know, fishing a, 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 a gradual sloping bank or you're fishing up into a bay where the depth of water um, is realistically good coverage for your perspective view, then I think you really are missing out in terms of targeting fish. Like, we rolled into a bay here at Wangla yesterday um, and found two metre 20 plus cod on perspective view um, in no time at all, in no time at all. Just moving left to right or right to left, come through the screen. And these are fish that we would have never found or never, you know, no chance of finding just running forward view. Um, and if we had have gone into the bay um, scanning with side imaging, then those fish are already going to know we're there because we're driving past them to scan them up. So I think the opportunity is there, guys, um, to really just broaden your minds a little bit and try and utilise the tools you have to get the most out of them and, and to, to, I guess, to get a better understanding of fish behaviour, you really need to utilise all the tools in front of you. So with live imaging, there's no better way to fast track that information into our minds because what we thought happened or what we you know what we presumed was happening with fish behavior and traits we're able to either prove or debunk those theories really really quickly with live imaging because it's basically you know and particularly in perspective view because you've got 150 degrees and you can have that panned out 30 or 40 meters particularly with the lvs 34 where it's got exceptional range and you can really get an understanding of what the fish are doing. And, and quite often, you know, on our days off up north, like if we're fishing Lake Oonga, we'll go out and use perspective view a lot and look around and just just watch, not cast, not fish for these 
for this barramundi, but just actually get a little bit more of an understanding as week to weeks change and seasons change and try and either prove or debunk our own theories on what was happening. And it's it's been a huge learning curve um, and I guess a really fast tracked one in terms of things of what we could have learned in the last five years if we didn't have, well, what we would have learned if we didn't have live imaging. I think that's been an incredible step um, in the journey into fish behavioral traits and understanding. So I think guys, my, my biggest tip for you is to, to broaden your horizon, open your minds a little bit, get off the one track mind and try perspective view, um, particularly in some of the COD framework, because what I've seen and our ability to be able to track fish, understanding, and quite often, like, I've found things that I thought, you know, you know, and I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about cod, but, um, you know, we're finding fish together, um, you know, they're moving around significantly, which was the other thing, like, it, almost barramundi-like, which was, yeah, which was interesting to me, um, but, you know, a lot of you guys are already going to know know that but um yeah that that's that's probably a big one guys so look in all honesty it's just about yeah improving your understanding and sort of taking not a shortcut but it could really open things up for you if you're getting the most out of your units so and getting the most out of your units is what i you know what i teach and what i try to explain to people you the tools right there in front of you um if you've got you know, three options in live imaging and you're only using one, well, I, I do think you're missing out. I really do. I think the opportunity is there um, in different scenarios. And I'm not saying it's going to work in all scenarios, but in different scenarios where perspective view will really um, open things up for you and give you a better understanding of what's happening. Um, you know, the guys that are really dialed in, they've got both running. So, I mean, they're spending, um, you know, top dollar but it's worth every cent in the terms of i've seen guys there with twin 16 inch screens on top of each other with uh forward view over the top of perspective view so basically your 20 degree beam is always smack bang in the middle of your of your 150 degree perspective view there's no better option than that you just can't cannot lose a fish it's incredible um you know when you're searching but the other thing is like you know going back to uh perspective view is that quite often we'll use that as a searching tool guys so if you're going into a bay and you're looking for fish and you know you've got four or five meters of water it's a nice sort of gentle sloping bay or you've got a um you know it's a it's a shallow a flat sort of bay or edge then we'll use that perspective view and use it as a searching tool we'll have that pointed straight out of the front of the boat and just be gliding in on electric or even drifting in at times um, and not not using side imaging, but using the live to find those fish. Because what you've got to remember is those fish, if you're getting them out in front of the boat um, before you've even scanned them on traditional sonar or side view, the thing is, those fish, are you're, you're going to cast at them before they are even aware you, you are there. Um, and I think that's a that's a real helper. Like so, if you've got if you can take the upper hand and get the advantage on the fish, because these fish, like let's face it, meet a cod, meet a barra, they don't get a they don't get a meet along by being silly. Like it's learnt behaviours um, and and getting back to behaviours and traits, but they they've got a really good understanding of what things are to the point where they understand what that ticking noise is coming from the back, whether it's from your GT56 or just any uh, three in one traditional sonar transducers so they can you know that we've seen it time and time again where you know you'll get 10 minutes in a bay before the fish just clear out because they got an understanding of what that noise is so if you can come in as quiet as possible and use the live and scan them from a distance and you're picking these fish up you're going to get the upper hand on these fish more often than not um, doesn't mean they're going to eat every lure you throw at them but by getting the upper hand, quite often we find that um, that is the case, and you get and you are able to get some of these fish to eat. So that's just a little tip, tech tip for today. Um, is more around live scope, perspective view, um, or the three view, views, and using all of them, getting the best out of what you have in front of you. So having the ability 
to use all three in different scenarios, pick the, pick the right choice and learn from it and keep learning from it and adapt and adapt again. And I think you'll find your fishing will only improve um, from what I've seen from guys that haven't fished for cod at all and they've used gone out and used perspective view, um, they're, they're killing it, like in particular in places like Lake Moala and stuff like that. So look guys, you, it's, um, it's, I think it's a great option um, keep your mind open always you're always learning if you shut yourself off from it um, you'll never move any further so I'm always learning every day I go out on the water whether it's fishing or just you know doing things with um, the Garmin units themselves you you learn and adapt and realize how to utilize them to the best of the ability so I'm just going to finish up and show you this little video um, of perspective view and jerk baiting um, Barra in Lake Awunga and I'm going to show you um, just just have a, a quick look at it it's only about a minute and a half long but what you'll see is you'll pick up if you watch it really carefully a lot of guys will just pick up okay yeah you can see the jerk bait coming through and the Barra eats it and we're fighting a Barra but take a closer look at the behavior of the remaining Barra have a look where they are at the start of the video when we when we got go to hook up the barra so when we get the bite from the barra have a look where the rest of the barra are and then have a look at their behavior after we hook up and what happens i think you'll be surprised and that's what i'm talking about fish behaviors and traits and getting an understanding and getting the best out of your units and utilizing all the tools in front of you so tech tip from today justin from gladstone fine sport fishing garmin marine ambassador australia have a great day guys thanks